Most companies are, are making a decision to utilise the public cloud, but they also want the flexibility to have private clouds. And that may well be through the local telco provider, it may well be through their own data centre environment or you know, other government entities that are offering clouds. To get that flexibility, you need to have a platform which is stable, secure, is providing you with a level of intelligence that's enabling you to be able to move data from one platform to the other seamlessly. And the way to do that, that's what Red Hat is doing with both its operating system and its container platform, is enabling that cloud migration. And we are um, showcasing both our container application platform, which helps people to migrate towards a hybrid cloud environment, and also our intelligent operating system, uh, Red Hat Linux Enterprise 8, which um, you know, for the first time is really being the platform and the bedrock for the cloud environment. So that's what we're showcasing here this week. This is really where the power of open source technology comes into play. If you think, you know, our development cycles now are such that, you know, there's more than a million projects that are going on in the open source community. There's more than 15 million um, coders working at any one time. As soon as a threat becomes apparent and becomes known, you've immediately got a huge workforce working against that, that threat. It's been proven in the last four or five years that you know viruses that are coming out, attacking operating systems, attacking um, you know cloud environments. The open source flavors of those, Red Hats and others, are combating those faster, quicker, um, with more efficiency and at lower cost. So, as I mentioned earlier in the interview, the, the cloud migrations now are really starting to take off, and that what's behind that is customers or. Businesses want to be able to give the customers a more digital, digitized service. If we take Emirates MBD as an example, they've changed their infrastructure completely. They are now able to provide a much more flexible, agile development environment for their own people. They've taken an open banking um, uh, approach to uh, their infrastructure, which allows them to interact with anybody else's API infrastructure. So, for example, you know you can check your balance now in Alexa or any other you know voice-activated uh, uh, protocol. You can do WhatsApp banking. So that platform that they've built has allowed them to be able to you know provide really as consumers a much stronger service in a digital uh, in a digital platform. So I think again, you know, we look very much at the financial sector as a as a leading light in that, and also the telecommunications sector, which is which is setting the platform and the networks for 5G. But really, if you take the banking sector, the banking sector is being attacked from every other industry. I mean, I can go and buy financial services from a supermarket. The banks have to be able to respond to that. And historically, they've been monolithic um, you know, type organizations with big, robust systems, secure, risk-free. And now they have to be able to provide an agile, uh, very fast-moving, very flexible environment, but still have all of the risk-averse and security. With open source and the, and the solutions that we're providing, it's that level of innovation that we're able to provide. If I now look also, that's happening in retail, it started to happen in manufacturing, it started happening in oil and gas. So we see now an emergence of all of the different types of industries which are strong here, starting to take notice and starting to build those types of infrastructures. Gitex has been excellent. I mean, um, I was saying earlier in our conversation, the last three or four years have been really strong for Gitex. We like the fact that there's a huge government presence here. I think it brings a good quality of delegation here. Um, you see also, you know, a lot of the other vendors are, are uh, spending you know, a lot of money to, to be present here. And we get some fantastic interactions with both customers and partners. And I think, you know, from the partner ecosystem, you know, that's a really important part of business here. And I think this Gitex absolutely sums it up perfectly.